in gain canonical distribution we know p n j So, we have uh, obtained mm, mm, the, the probability of a system having n number of particles in state j having energy E j, we define this by P n j which is nothing but E to the minus beta E n j times E to the minus gamma n and in the denominator we have the grand canonical partition function okay, and the grand canonical partition function. So, the grand canonical partition function is we define uh, as this by theta capital theta is sum over n sum over j e to the minus beta e n j times e to the minus gamma n. So, since we obtained uh, the partition function, we can calculate different thermodynamic thermodynamical properties like average energy we can calculate. So, if we, if we calculate average energy, we know the expression for average energy. So, the expression for average energy is P n j times E n j and if we carry out this one, we get So, if we differentiate log of theta with respect to beta or with respect to temperature, we get the expression for average energy, which is very similar to the one we obtained for canonical ensemble. We can also calculate average pressure. So, average pressure is nothing but And if we carry out this, we get the expression like so we get average pressure is Kb times del ln theta by del V, where beta and gamma are constants. Here we can also calculate average number of particles the given system and we arrive an equation so if we if we differentiate ln theta with respect to gamma keeping v and beta constant we get average number of particles in a given system. So, and uh, now we can calculate uh, other thermodynamical properties we, we will discuss now, but before that uh, we will we will see what is gamma. Okay. So, what is the value of gamma we need to calculate next. Okay, so, let us consider a function f is function of beta, gamma and all energy values and this is, so f we consider ln theta and theta we know theta is the partition function or gain canonical partition function rather.
So, first we consider a function f which is ln theta. Okay. Next what we do? Calculate df, df is del f by del beta keeping gamma and all ENJ values constant times del d beta plus del f by del gamma times d gamma plus So, the third term is sum over n sum over j del f by del e n j times d n j d e n j keeping beta and gamma and e n j. So, here we consider we are we are keeping constant of all e n j values all e n j values all e n j s except the one we are differentiating differentiating with ok so we get df is del f by del beta times d beta gamma and enj are constant then del f by del gamma times d gamma but beta and e n j is a constant and plus sum over n sum over j del f by del e n j times d n j here we constant beta gamma and all e n j values are constant except the one we are differentiating with ok. So, we can further simplify this expression as d f and this first term is nothing but average of energy. The second term is nothing but average number of particles and the third one is giving us beta times p average times d v. So, we get d f is minus e average times d beta minus n average times d gamma plus beta p average times d v. Okay. Now, what we do? We can further simplify the above expression like like this. So, here we have added in both sides we have added few terms ok. The same terms we have added and then we, we arrive at this expression. Now, from thermodynamics for open system for open systems we know T d s is d u plus v d v minus mu d n. So, this extra term is uh, need to be incorporated for open systems. Okay. Now, if we compare expression 1 and expression 2, the coefficients we get gamma is, so comparing 1 and 2 comparing equations 1 and 2, we get gamma is minus mu by kvt. So, this is the value of gamma. Okay. So, suppose this is our equation 3. Okay. Now, what is the value of entropy S? S is So, if we do the integration of equation 2, we get S is 
E average by T times N average by mu, N average times mu by T plus KB ln uh, theta. Okay. So, this is the expression for entropy. So, this is our equation 4. Next, we will discuss something very interesting thing. Like we have what we know grand canonical partition function So, here we, we substituted the value of gamma in this expression. So, now what we do? So, sum over n will be there and sum over j e to the uh, uh, beta e n j, the first term gives q. Okay. So, grand canonical partition function is nothing but canonical partition function plus all possible values of n. So, grand canonical partition function can be represented as canonical partition function plus all possible values of n. Next, we can also calculate G or Gibbs energy. So, G is nothing but mu times n. So, you get E plus P B minus T S. So, we know this or you rather here. Okay. And P V is mu times n average plus T A times n average minus E average. So, if we further carry out, we get P V is K B T L N. Yes. Okay. So, we have discussed a grand canonical ensemble so far. Next, we consider or next we will discuss micro canonical ensemble. So, in microcanonical ensemble, number of particle is fixed, volume is fixed and energy is fixed. Like in canonical ensemble, number of particle fixed, volume was fixed and temperature was fixed and grand canonical ensemble, chemical potential, volume and temperature those three are fixed. In microcanonical ensemble, number of particle is fixed, volume is fixed, energy is fixed. Since energy is fixed, so these three are fixed. Okay, since E is fixed, okay, so you can write E1 plus E1 equals to E2 equals to E3 and so on, and we suppose we have omega number of states, so omega. So, all states are degenerate. So, very similar to 
the particle in a box or consider a particle in three dimensional cubic box and in for this so for particle in for particle in in three dimensional cubic box suppose we have n x n y and z n z values are 1 2 1 or 2 1 1 or 1 1 2 so these three states are, energy of these three states are the same so they are degenerate so these states are degenerate Similarly, here since E is fixed in microcanonical ensemble, so E1 equals to E2 equals to E3 up to E omega, where omega is the number of states of degeneracy, all states are degenerate. So, one would expect that P1 equals to P2 is to P3 equals to P omega means probability of having state 1 with energy u1 we define this one as p1 or equals to p2 equals to p3 equals to p omega where omega is the degeneracy as i mentioned so omega is function of nv and e the degeneracy so So, as I said since energy, so whatever we said, whatever I said uh, is like in microcanonical ensemble N V E fixed, since E is fixed, so E 1 equals to E 2 equals to E 3 up to E omega, so, where omega is the degeneracy. So, since all energy values are the same, so one would expect the probability of having all the states the same. So, we are going to prove that, that probability of all the states the same in microcanonical ensemble. Okay. So, for this we start with the expression S, we know S is K B L N W, this we know from thermodynamics. Okay. So, what is W here? So, W is factorial N by N 1 factorial, N 2 factorial and so on that we studied already studied we know already so we get s is kb ln n factorial minus kb ln n1 factorial minus kb ln n2 factorial and so on right so we get s is kb now we apply starling's approximations okay so applying Starling's approximation since all the n values are the are very large, so we will apply Starling's approximation and we get S is K B L n n factorial gives us n L n n minus n. The second term gives us k b times n 1 l n n 1 minus n 1, third term gives us k b times n 2 l n n 2 minus n 2 and so on. So, we get s is k b n l n n minus n minus sum over i n i l n n i and then we have plus sum over i n i. So, we get S is k b n l n n minus sum over i n i l n n i because n and sum over i n i they cancel each other ok 
next we know S is K B times N L N N minus sum over I N I L N N I. Now, P i probability of ith state is nothing but N i by N. So, it gives us N i is N times P i. Now, if we substitute the value of N i here in the expression of entropy, we will get S is K b N L N N minus sum over i. So, you get S is K B N L N N minus N P I So, we get S is K B times n l n n minus sum over i n p i times l n n minus sum over i n p i times l n p i. So, we get s we can further simplify and get k b s is k b l n n l n n minus n l n n sum over i p i minus n sum over i p i ln p i. So, sum over i p i gives us this gives us 1. So, n ln n and minus n ln n sum over i p i they get cancel each other. So, we get s is minus n times k b sum over i p i ln p i. Okay, now, the statistical entropy S is minus K B So, we are using a dummy variable J here, J goes from 1 to omega because we have omega number of states, so states in our system. So, p j l n p j. So, this is the value of statistical entropy. Okay. So, what do we do now? We calculate d s. Okay. d s is minus k b So, we get d s, if we further simplify, we get d s is minus k b sum over j goes from 1 to omega the p j ln p j plus 1. Now, what we do? We maximize entropy, okay? because for an isolated system, so microcanonical ensemble is an presents isolated system, right? because number of particle is fixed, energy is also fixed. Okay, so, both matter and energy exchange are not permissible. So, for an isolated system, at equilibrium, so an isolated system and equilibrium is one of maximum entropy. So, this we can uh, learn from second law of thermodynamics. So, basically we are now max maximizing W, okay, uh, maximizing S. So, 
next we we are maximizing maximizing entropy so we get ds if we maximize we get this now we'll uh, simplify uh, above expression like we have the constant sum over j p j sum over all probabilities equals to 1. So, we get sum over j d p j is 0. Okay. So, we can write d p 1 plus sum over j at j goes to j goes from 2 to omega d p j is 0. So, we, we take d p 1 out of the summation. Okay. So, we get d p 1 is minus of sum over j goes from 2 to omega d p j. Okay. Now, if we use this expression d p 1 equals to minus sum over j equals to j goes from 2 to omega d p j uh, and then if we apply this uh, relationship into the above expression of d s we get 0 is d s minus k b d p 1 then p 1 plus 1 minus k p times j goes from 2 to omega d p j times l n p j plus 1. So, we get 0 is minus k b if we further simplify we get this or it says l n p j equals to l n p y p 1 or minus l n p 1 equals to 0 as d p j are not 0. So, we get p j equals to p 1 and this is valid this uh, p j equals to p 1 is valid for all possible values of j. Okay. So, we can write, so or thus we can write p 1 equals to p 2 p 3 to p omega. Okay. So, this is known as postulate of equal a priority prob probabilities. Okay. So, this is known as postulate of equal a priority probabilities, which says for an isolated system in equilibrium, all microscopic states 
corresponding to corresponding to the same set of a macroscopic observables are equally probable. Now, so, 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 so we discussed postulate of equal a priori, priori, a priori probabilities, which says for an isolated system in equilibrium, all microscopic states corresponding to the same set of a macroscopic observable, observables are equally probable. So, we got or we have some over j p j where j goes from 1 to omega equals to 1. So, you get p 1 plus p 2 plus like this we get omega number of terms so 1. Since p 1 equals to p 2. p omega. So, we can write omega times p j is 1 or p j so, so, canonical distribution function. So, canonical distribution function p j is nothing but 1 by omega ok the micro sorry micro canonical distribution function. So, micro canonical minus micro canonical distribution function p j is nothing but 1 by omega. Now, we arrived at the expression that p 1 equals to p 2 equals to p 3 up to p omega by maximizing w or in other way in order to have the maximum entropy the probability of the all states must be equal. Okay. So, we can uh, simply uh, uh, do or we can simply uh, uh, calculate by considering three hypothetical three or four hypothetical systems like we have so we consider a system with four states okay and suppose probability of state 1 p 1 we consider as 1 by 4. The first we consider the probability of 4 all 4 states are equals. So, p 1 equals to p 2 equals to p 3 equals to p 4 are the value of all probabilities are 1 by 4 right. This is the case 1. Now, you consider another case suppose p 1 is 1 by 2, p 2 is 1 by 4, p 3 is 1 by 8 and p 4 is also 1 by 8. So, total probability again 1 and this is our case 2. So, in case 1 all probabilities are equal, in case 2 probabilities are varied. Okay, so, ne next we consider p 1 equals to suppose 1 by 4, p 2 is 1 by 16, p 3 is uh, maybe okay, we will consider only 2 cases suppose uh, not uh, 
three or four cases, we consider only two cases, case 1 and case 2 and now we calculate the power entropy. So, we know S, so S we just have seen the value of S is K B minus K B sum over J equals to 1 to omega P J ln P J. Okay. So, we will use that expression here. Okay. So, we have S, so for case 1, entropy S is minus K B sum over J goes from 1 to 4 P J ln P J. We get S is minus K B times P 1 ln P 1 plus P 2 ln P 2 plus P 3 ln P 3 plus P 4 ln P 4. So, here for case 1 the end of you are saying S 1 here. So, you get S 1 is minus K B. So, 1 by 4 ln 1 by 4 times 4. So, so we get minus K B not plus again K B ln 4. So, this is the value of uh, entropy for case 1. For case 2, we get entropy S2 is minus K B and if we calculate this, we get S1 is greater than S2. Okay. So, maximum entropy we get when probability of all states are equal okay, that we prove now. So, we get uh, probability now we can calculate different thermodynamical quantities like S. So, S is minus K B sum over J P J ln P J. So, we can further simplify this as S is minus K B J goes from 1 to omega 1 by omega times ln 1 by so, we get S is K B and omega. So, this is the expression for entropy in microcanonical ensemble. Next, we can also calculate pressure, okay, average pressure. We, we know du is T d S minus P d V. Now, since du equals to 0. So, we get T d s is nothing but P d v. So, we get P is T times del s by del v when energy and number of particles are constant. So, P is K b t del ln omega by del v constant energy and number of particles. Okay. We can also calculate enthalpy, enthalpy H is We can also calculate how much free energy A like A is E minus T A. So, you get E minus K B T 
ln omega and so on. 